Good morning. Today is our second day on our desert trip, and we don't really know what it's going to bring because the schedule is complicated. We haven't really looked at it. We have no internet. However, what we do know is that we're going to be going on a sunset camel ride into the Sahara Desert tonight. So that's the most amazing thing to look forward to. breakfast buffet complete with some breakfast tagine and of course coffee and orange juice can I get an IV breakfast coffee please I would like one too if someone could get me that stat that'd be great right so we've got a pancake put that with honey and then this breakfast this came from the tagine and it's called an omelette beber and then coffee, orange juice, and we're off to the races. Stopped at some kind of garden. Not sure whereabouts this is or what the actual name of it is called, but so far it's stunning. And we have a tour guide, so I guess we'll find out some more soon. Well, then, like, yeah. Let's see what happens. kilometers long. Uh, this is the river of the Tudra. Tudra. And Tudra there. Yes. <laughs> so that's a river that's coming from the mountains. We call Tudra a river. And the valley Tudra and the mountains Tudra. So the Tinere, it was between two mountains, high atlas and small atlas. Mm. And small atlas, it's very rich because we have the mine of the silver.
Okay, so after quite some distance of walking, then we've actually figured out where we are. So it turns out we are in the Tarha Valley, which also includes the, the gardens, a Kasbah, and most impressively the gorge, which is what you saw when we got to the summit there. Got taken up there by a tour guide. Yes. And now we're on our way back down and going back to our meeting point. And along the way we've seen some date trees, palm trees, uh, almond trees, pomegranate trees, fig trees. Yeah. I think we're heading to see another Casbah. Yep. Now we're heading back through the Casbah and the gardens. So yeah, lots of nice scenery to enjoy. Bisaha. balancing skills of Rachel on display here. There we go. After some vegetarian soup, we're now having a really nice lunch. Mine is a beef tagine. And for me, after having had a delicious Moroccan soup, I got chicken skewers which come with fries. And to finish, some watermelon. Lovely. How's it going down? Really good. Mm -hmm. seen dead as it before this is what it looks like to get to Merzuka and we've just found ourselves at this incredible hotel I'm ready to take a bit of a dip before we then get to meet our camels. And one of the things that I found most interesting during the past two days is the stark contrast between the landscapes. So yesterday we were in the Rocky Mountains and there was like lots of lush green 
And today we transitioned to just this sparse, barren desert with black sand on one side and then red rolling dunes of the Sahara on the other. Yeah, the reason also that we're calling it the Sahara, not the Sahara Desert, is because actually in one of the local languages here, Sahara actually means desert. So if you're saying the Sahara Desert, then technically you're calling it the Desert Desert. So we will be trying in earnest to just call it the Sahara from here on in. If we remember. Yes. we get in a fight which we won't and an amazing bathroom here with a shower in the middle of the desert who would have thought look how big this shower is and a separate toilet in here a beautiful sink mirror it does not get better than this so I'm just having all the feelings right now. I cannot get over what we just did, riding through the Sahara on camel. Words cannot describe it. It made me feel so insignificant and small compared to the rest of the world. 
And it was just such a humbling experience that I feel so lucky to have had and like to share with you too. Yeah. Right back it was incredible to see this. Is it, it's one of the wonders of the earth, I think. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, it should be. It's just magnificent. Yeah. I mean, I grew up as a kid just nerding out on geography. Like I was all about just wanting to visit every single country, every single corner of the globe and just visit everything, like leave no part of the world unscathed. And as far as I'm concerned, like I'd never, like even despite all of that, I would never in my wildest dreams have imagined myself being here, having done what we've done, being in this camp right now and doing this. And it's just, it blows my mind. Even after having spent what? That's part of about two hours in the desert. I, like, it just doesn't feel real at all. Um, no. I'm still pinching myself. And yeah, having someone just awesome to do it with is it's pretty special. Love you. Love you. We got a visitor, presumably after our food. But very cute, so we'll allow it. So while we're here, I might as well introduce you to our awesome group who've been part of our caravan for the camel rides. So first off, Gino. And this is Mirka. Hello. And Sivan. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you all. And then obviously, Rachel. And me. What's up? And the dessert.